Welcome back to Boiler House Garage and to part 10 of our series that tests for ethanol content in super unleaded petrols. In today's video we'll be testing Harvest Energy's Super Unleaded 97 Ron. I purchased this petrol a little before Christmas at a Breeze unmanned petrol station. There are only four Breeze petrol stations in the UK, this one here is in Swindon. Because it's unmanned and I didn't have to go backwards and forwards to pay, I actually took a sample of their super unleaded and their regular 95 ron petrol as well. We'll start with the 97 octane. Please refer to part 3 of this series to see the testing method explained, as well as part 5 to see how ethanol appears once water has been passed through the blend. Links are in the description. In short, I'm adding 300 millilitres of water to 700 millilitres of the test petrol to extract the ethanol from the petrol into the water. If the separation line remains at 300 millilitres, that means there's no ethanol absorbed into the water. If it's at 370 millilitres, the fuel is E10, and at 335 millilitres, it's E5. On first glance, and probably this will be the end result, the line is at 300 millilitres, thus harvest fuel is ethanol free, but we will be leaving this for an hour. Coming back an hour later, and it appears consistent with previous videos, the separation line remains unchanged due to the mixing method we're using here. It's still at 300 millilitres, and harvest is definitely uh, the Harvest Super Unleaded is definitely ethanol free. It's actually starting to get a bit boring now, we're not finding much in the way of ethanol in any of these Super Unleaded's in the south bar, the Texaco uh, that I tested in a previous video. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I did get a sample of Harvest's 95 octane premium unleaded. Uh, premium is the UK, for, uh, UK standard uh, unleaded fuel, which we'll be testing after this. While you're watching a quick advert, I'll pour this into my fuel container. Today's video is brought to you by Crypto.com and their fantastic range of cashback generating steel Visa debit cards. With fuel prices as they are today, oh my God! imagine receiving 2, 3 or even 5% cashback on not only your fuel purchases but anything you pay for using the card with absolutely no fees hidden or otherwise and even paying 100% of your Spotify and Netflix subscriptions. What's more is if you click the link in the description below you will receive $25 for free when you install the Crypto.com app and sign up to receive your card. Please feel free to comment if you need any further information on this offer or the Crypto.com app itself. Now back to the video. Welcome back. So in the second part of this video we're testing Harvest's uh, premium unleaded fuel which is labelled E10 just to see uh, the true percentage of ethanol contained therein. Uh, you'll notice this is a much lighter yellow colour and uh, so was the super unleaded. Uh, as we've discussed in previous videos it has very little bearing on how much ethanol is in there. The same testing method as before. This is also a, another good example of how quickly results can be seen uh, by using this pour free method so having to leave it an extended period of time is unnecessary. Saying that, because the fuel is so light, it's uh, pretty hard to see on camera where the line is, but uh, in person I can see it's actually already at the uh, 350 milliliter line, so obviously there's definitely ethanol in here. It's showing up a little better now. In case it doesn't come across on camera, here it is with some bit more light on it. Like I mentioned earlier, 370 milliliters is indicative of uh, E10, uh, so if my math serves me correctly, this is more like E7 uh, unleaded, and don't forget it is up to 10% when it says E10 on a label, however the idea of the ethanol mandate was to have as much in it as possible for um, some arbitrary reasons they give. In answer to a comment on my previous fuel test video for Tesco Momentum, uh, I mentioned a uh, hypothesis of mine of why we're not seeing quite the ethanol levels uh, that are purported to be in our petrols. 
perhaps it's more of a supply chain issue because unlike the US we don't have the whole state of Nebraska and their corn lobby uh, to just be able to supply this ethanol that's had an artificial demand created for it of about 150% uh, in the UK so what ethanol supply there is is probably going to the refineries in the north and Cornwall and Devon and also being prioritised for the uh, premium unleaded fuel not the supreme or super unleaded Another possibility is that the uh, government may be taking a slower approach to increasing the amount of ethanol in the fuel rather than making it sudden with the view that uh, when they do increase uh, the fuel levels where uh, every premium unleaded is 10% ethanol and every super unleaded is 5% that any damage or problems that causes especially to old cars is put down to it simply being an old car breaking down later in time uh, when we're all under the impression that the fuels are pretty much 10% and 5% ethanol and uh, by then have been for some time. As time goes on I may start revisiting and retesting a batch of say three brands in one video as just to keep an eye on any changes to these fuel blends or if previous ethanol free fuels now have the corn juice in it. I do of course have other brands to take a look at, there's uh, Jet, Sainsbury's, Total, I'm not sure if Elf and Q8 garages do a super unleaded, uh, but I know Asda don't offer one. There's also Apple Green super unleaded that the same guy replied to on the previous video I'd mentioned. Uh, until the next one, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.